Hello everyone. Welcome to the first tutorial of Creative Aspects. Where you'll learn with clarity. In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to create this creative abstract cover page design in PowerPoint. I'll go step by step, will try to explain everything as clearly as possible. If you'll have any difficulties on any areas, you could ask me on comment box. I request you to watch the full video online, rather than downloading it. It'll assist me to grow this channel, which will inspire me to create more videos. If you like the tutorial, don't hesitate to like, share, and subscribe the channel. So, without any further delay, let's get started. Now we are inside PowerPoint. I'm going inside insert tab and selecting freeform shape tool. Our first step is to create abstract line shape. By holding shift, we can constrain angle to 45 degree. Click to add points. Try creating some interesting, variable width abstract shape. Use backspace to remove point which you don't like. Try creating some interesting shape, remember you have unlimited undo so, don't hesitate to try different shape. I recommend you could do rough sketches on paper and digitalized it once you started liking it. Click outside the canvas area, when you'll reach to the end it'll change to fill color. Now remove outline, and if you think it's too much on right side, move it to left. Go to fill and introduce transparency, so we could see through it. Create new square. Select new square first and abstract shape second. Now go to merge shapes and apply intersect. Remove outline. It taken style from new square which we selected first. Now we have to change straight corners to round. There are two ways to do it. First, right click and edit points. Zoom in. Select point and adjust handle. Do it until you started liking. Same for inner side as well. First move it, and then hold shift to adjust it. Second option is, create round rectangle. Rotate it, remove outline, assign new fill color to differentiate it, you could make it slightly transparent. Now match its sides, before that make corners round.
Adjust it preciously. Select abstract shape first and the new one, and then apply union. I don't prefer this way, it gives tough time as well as create unnecessary points which we can remove by holding control plus left click. Now we have to use the same technique to round other points. I'm fast forwarding it, I'm using first technique to round remaining corners, if you like to see it, you could decrease play speed. We are ready with the shape. Next step is to add image inside this shape. Right click, go to the format shape, select picture or texture fill, file and select image which you want to use. Remove outline. Play with offset value. I want mountain see through the right edges or basically I would like to create variation because I'm going to use same image on background as well. I'll just add drop shadow on bottom right side. Blur 8 to 10, distance could be 4 and transparency to 90%. I'm copying this same shape and pasted it, adjust it at same place. Now apply a gradient, remove extra gradient stops. Select first stop and apply blue color. And second stop to purple as a starting color. Reselect blue color and make it more saturated. Same with purple color. Take it more toward magenta. Play with it, until you started liking it, or you could use same RGB value, what I provided you at the starting of the video. Now change the angle according to your liking, make both of the colors stops transparent, blue can be anything from 12 to 24%, and magenta could be 18 to 36%. Doing this allows us to see image beneath it, adjust the position of the blue color stops so it covers more area, make it little darker, reduce transparency of magenta color to 20%. Now assign same blue color to stroke. Increase width to 2px and adjust transparency to 50% or so. Go to insert, create new square, full width of the document. Apply same picture we used earlier for abstract shape. Remove outline, send it to back. Create copy. Adjust its position, apply solid white color as fill. And send it to back. Go to home tab, select select pane, take white shape above the image and rename it. Make it 6 to 10% transparent.
Now go the insert, word art and add text, take it at top. And I'm copying text which I already written, rather than typing it. Paste the text. Go to the text option and remove shadow. Go to the home tab and select new font. I'm using Oswald font for the titles which is Google font and you could use it for commercial purpose as well without any copyright. Assign a same gradient and play with it until you started liking it. Create its copy by dragging it with control. Change its text. Select both of them and make text align left. Now go to the format, align and then select align left. Select second text. Change font to XO. And apply darker gray color from predefined colors. Change font size to 30 pints. Create new square shape on which text will sit. Remove outline. Apply solid color white. Change stacking order to bottom of the main text. Select all of them and move it to the left and place them where you like it. Resize the white shape better. And adjust text on center. Create new shape for shadow, I'm using isosceles triangle, move orange point to the right and make it thinner. Go to the format, rotate and apply flip vertical. Place it preciously. Widen it. Remove outline and apply same gradient. Change magenta color to white and make it 100% transparent and make blue color 50 to 60% transparent make it more thinner select all of them and put them in group by control plus g now adjust its placement how you like it copy bottom text by dragging it with control cut it by control plus x and paste it with control plus v Change its color to white and update text. I added all these text from my end. Rather than using Laura Mipsum, you could use different text. Make it a per case. And reduce font size to 24 pints. Use EXO, center bold. Go to insert, create line. Change color to white. Place it properly, select both of them. And group them by control plus G. Place it at bottom. We could shrink it by shift plus left arrow key. Final step will be copy white shape, control plus V to paste it. Remove fill color and assign same blue color to outline. Make it 5 pints bold and increase transparency to 30%. So, we are ready with the design. If you learned something, please view full video online. Don't forget to leave a like, share the video, subscribe and press the bell icon for more free illustrator, photoshop, and powerpoint tutorials. Goodbye for now.